Hi mates! How's it going? In today's video, Chapter 6 of Shadows Rising by Madeline Rue. Here's some Meanwhile with the Alliance stuff. Let's go! Meanwhile with the Alliance... How many? Anduin Rin was currently hanging about in the Cathedral of Light within Stormwind City, patiently waiting for Bishop Arthur to unlock the door leading to the crypts below. Yeah, let's see. Is it this key? Six. Or rather... SI-7 discovered six. No one can say for sure how many were washed away by the tides. Uh, it wasn't that key. Maybe it's this key. <laughs> More could be in hiding. Shaw sent at least a dozen to monitor the waters between the Zandalari coast and the Eastern Kingdoms. <sighs> it's not that key either. Why does this cathedral have so many keys? Let us continue this where there are no curious ears. The old bishop finally managed to unlock the door, so Turalyon and Gen Greymane followed Anduin down into the crypts to continue their conversation. Anduin wasn't exactly excited to see what awaited him down there, but he knew it was his duty as king to see what had befallen troops dispatched in his name. Soon enough, they arrived at the very bottom of the crypts, where several bodies had been laid out, with skin discoloured and lips twisted in agony. Look at the precision. One shot, directly to the heart. Mark the fletching on the arrows here and here. It's been shaved down. That was why Shaw ordered them brought here. What am I not seeing? Zandalari arrows. But these are not Zandalari tactics. I should think not. This is some mischief. Some dark mischief I do not yet understand. There are few archers in the world that could make these shots, my king. The only sort I know of are allied with the infernal Banshee Queen. Dark rangers? Can we be certain? Certain? No. But I've seen a damned mess of their arrows in my time. The style matches, as does the accuracy. Gen then started pacing backwards and forwards whilst huffing and puffing. Looked like someone was in dire need of a good war, Keith. What would the Dark Rangers be doing in Zandalar? The Zandalari are allies of the Horde, which wouldn't exactly make them friends with Sylvanas. It could be a warning. Perhaps she sent her rangers to punish the new queen. The Dark Lady was still war chief when they made their alliance. We all know how well Sylvanas takes betrayal. This is an opportunity, Anduin. Don't you see it? Where Sylvanas goes, her Dark Rangers are sure to follow. She may well have revealed herself in committing these murders. We should gather what forces we can spare and sail west. Whether she's in league with the Zandalari or moving against them doesn't matter. This is our chance to finish this. Anduin looked towards Turalyon. The paladin did not seem quite as convinced as the king of Gilneath. Now is the time to think, my king, not the time to react. There are still spies unaccounted for in the field, and we must not forget the armistice. Zandalar is a big place, but the eyes there are friendly to the Horde, not Sylvanas and the Horde want her dead just as much as we do. The armistice you signed is meaningless if we cannot rely on them to share intelligence of this nature. <laughs> bollocks. We can rely on the Horde for nothing. How many times must you learn this, Anduin? I know you know better. Now, Anduin did not necessarily trust the Horde, but they could have easily assassinated him outside the gates of Orgrimmar when Sylvanas killed Saurfang, and they didn't, so that had to count for something. Anduin then decided to wait a moment, hoping Greymane would calm down, but he remained a very angry doggy. Again, rash action has harmed us far more often than care and caution. I'm not going to overcommit to what could be a diversion. Turalyon seemed to agree with that. We must ask ourselves, why would Sylvanas go to Zandalar? What would she want there? What does it matter? You said it yourself, Turalyon. The Zandalari Queen pledged herself to Sylvanas first. Perhaps that vow remains true. Perhaps she's turned her back on the Horde, and even now shelters the traitor and her soldiers. Perhaps these brave few were killed for discovering the truth. Hmm. What to do? What to do? I am reminded, my noble friends, of a day not so long ago, and not so far from here. Arathi Highlands. A gathering meant to be peaceful. Meant to reunite families, torn asunder by forces they could never have anticipated. Human and forsaken families met in good faith, trying to find common ground and common love. And many of them did. And for their trust, their grace, they received only slaughter. I give both of your recommendations equal weight, my friends. To Rallion, take Illyria and investigate these deaths. I name you Lord Commander of the Alliance forces. Your task, your only task, is to find Sylvanas Windrunner so we might bring her to proper justice. Hunt her day and night. Use whatever means you must. To Rallion bowed his head, accepting the honor. My heart and my sword to the cause. And then the kings of Gilneas and Stormwind watched as the old hero paladin buggered off. A wise choice, Your Majesty. Who knows what devil's tricks Queen Talanji learned from Sylvanas. There are insects under every rock in every kingdom. Even your own. I pray you're wrong. Anduin then looked back towards the bodies on the floor. By the light, Gen. 
I will see them given all due honour. But how do I ensure they're never forgotten? They knew what it was to serve, Anduin. They were not expecting the life of a baker or a tailor. They knew. Now again, I don't think they did. None of us do. None of us know what awaits us in death. What awaits us in the dark without a dawn. And we're leaving it there! Nice bit of foreshadowing there. We're all about to find out, Anduin, in like a week's time or something. In the next video, we're back with Talanji. Zakan arrives in Dizar Alor, and it's a bigger chapter, so hopefully it makes up for this run of shorter videos recently. As usual, link in the description if you're interested in buying this book. Also, there's links to my Discord server and my Patreon page too. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, all of that bollocks. And all that's left to say is, thanks for watching, and see ya!